with us now after the FA Youth Cup victory over Bristol Rovers tonight is Jade Nankwe and coach Mark Robinson. Uh, Mark, here we go again on another FA Youth Cup run. Yeah, well, hopefully it's only two rounds, but yeah, it's, it's a nice start, obviously, you know, two rounds, score was it, 11 goals and conceded one, so it's pleasing and um, yeah, I was pleased with a lot of things tonight, you know, the lads had to take on board a lot of information about you know them because um, we wasn't quite sure what in, uh, formation they were going to play because the one on the DVD was different to the one I saw live and they played the one we saw live and the lads got a lot of things right and I thought they didn't give them a chance to get any momentum going apart from one little spell which I'll talk about and um, there was a, a lot of good stuff so it was a pleasing performance can always room for improvement but it was pleasing and this man next to you tonight Jay don't we have an outstanding game yeah I think so um, I'll keep you know, Reezy's had a chat with him about what we need him to do and what we're looking to do. So, you know, when the ball comes in short, we expect him to hold it up and bring people into play. But we want him to stretch people and constantly get him by him from the first minute. He stretched and nearly scored, got himself an early goal. And I thought he was a constant threat all night, running off the back of him. Um, and just his general play and he got himself a great goal at the end. So, um, no, he's he's been the last three, four weeks, he's got himself in the zone. So long may it continue. Jaden, we spoke to you in the lead up to this game. How do you feel it went out on the pitch tonight? Um, I think everyone just stuck to the plan, got everything right. And yeah, we just all stuck together and carried it out. Lovely finish from you for the third goal tonight. Take us through it. Yeah, basically, um, Nick was going to shoot and I called for it and he just slid it into me. And I backed out, I was going to pass it back to him, but I cut back in and just slotted it. You were going to pass it back to him? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> And a good uh, couple of first goals in the first half to, uh, to set us on a way, Mark. Yeah, yeah. As I said, I thought our pressing was good, our intensity was good. We were getting quite compelled. We were getting a bit frustrated because the boys just needed to move the ball quicker and keep getting it. Once we'd won it, we kept going back in the same hole and I just wanted them to get that first pass away so we could switch the play. And it was all about getting our full backs forward and, you know, particularly Toby and getting the overloads. And once we did that, then, you know, we caused them all sorts of problems. So that was my, my message at half time. But just move it quicker, get it out wide, get the overloads, don't overcomplicate it, get good balls in and, and, and flood the box with bodies really. And, that, and that's what I did. Heard from your assistant James Oliver Pierce out there, he said there was a small spell when Bristol Rovers came into it, but yeah, he managed to deal with it. Well, yeah, it didn't need to happen, and it came from two of the more senior boys. Um, I felt that they give them a bit of momentum just by pure not communicating, a little bit of hesitation in it. Winds me up because I always tell them hesitation will kill you, and we give them a little bit of a me momentum through us, not through anything they did. And then I thought it was a 10 minute spell where some things were just going away, really. And you know, at 2 0, you, you can't afford that to happen. And Joe's it kicked down the middle, and there was just a few things I weren't very happy about. But you know, we, we sort of saw that through and then got back on it. And then obviously, Jaden's put the game to bed with a great goal. We try not to make it a regular thing, but if you had to mark it tonight out of 10, what would you say for tonight's one? <laughs> I, um, I suppose a seven. It was at eights at times. I thought some of the, the transition and the, the quick football was really, really good when we moved it quick. And I love the way we got bodies forward. And I don't think they could deal with it, to be honest. So it spells it, it was sort of about eight, but overall probably a six or a seven. Well, Jaden, you were part of that squad last season. You were in that dressing room at St James's Park. Um, looking forward to creating a little bit more history this season, perhaps up at Huddersfield? Yeah, yeah. Just with the new lads, just want to create. Like good moments that we can remember when we're older and just do create history for the club and just keep pushing on. Oh, we should just add there was a serious injury tonight to Bristol Rovers Sam Blake. Yeah. Obviously all our thoughts are with him. Definitely, um it was it, it's horrible really and you never want to see that in the game and um you know um I'm sure it was hard for their, their boys and you know obviously Tom was a bit effective as well over that side because he saw it so no we, we wish him all the best and a speedy recovery and obviously um, we we're, we're keep tabs on how the lad is but we're, yeah we hope it's um, not too bad definitely absolutely thanks very much Mark cheers thanks Rob